Today, I am here with Ian Tone Allison. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to be jumping oh. into 10 amazing funk bass lines. And you are going to be challenged with recreating the bass tones of these seminal, oh, too legendary oh. tones. And the rules are that he has to do it in under two minutes. You can swap out the bass. Okay. You can prepare yourself. Yes. You can stretch. You can do some push-ups, whatever okay, you want to yes. do. But as soon as you touch this piece of kit down here, then the clock starts. We've got a HX stomp. We're using that because it's got a bunch of effects pedals in it that we can use and amp models and all of that kind of stuff. You're super familiar with it, but you don't need this to do it. You could use effects pedals. And just to be super transparent, Ian has no idea of the tracks that we're about to play. Are you ready? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to feign confidence and say I was born ready. Born ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh! Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Flea on bass. Yeah. I got a mellow ship. I got a mellow ship. Slinky. Yes. Dude. No pressure. You recorded this on a wall. Well. Where's your wall? You left Not it here. At, you left Not it here. Home. Yeah, at home, yeah. What bass are you gonna grab? Okay, well, I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna grab a stingray. Yeah? Yes. Got the Am stingray. I allowed to do that before yes. the time starts? Yes, before the timer starts, you can do that. Grab okay. the stingray. I gotta learn this though quick. Oh yeah, you don't know the bass line. I mean, I, I've it's been a minute since I've played this bass line, but I'll do it, I'll try to do it all in two minutes. You're gonna try and learn the bass line and, and the, get the sound. Okay. And I'm even gonna, I'm gonna start at a disadvantage. What's I'm the gonna roll all these off. Okay. It's gonna sound terrible at the okay, time. Okay, <laughs> okay. You ready for the timer? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so. Okay, so this sounds bad. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn up, ooh, crackly pots. I'm gonna turn up bass and treble. And that's blank, nothing through the, okay. Okay, so that's the, might be a little too trebly. Is that right? Not quite. Wait to play it? Wait, wait, wait. Woo! I think that's it, I think that's it. Uh, oh God. Okay, I gotta move on. So I'm gonna compress a touch here. I am going to put on because obviously compression would have been used. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, on all this stuff. It's compressed in the studio. You're hearing all this stuff through compression when they mixed it. I'm gonna do- Are you gonna use an amp modeler? I'm gonna do an amp and a cab, uh -huh. yes. And I'm gonna go down to the GK because that is Flea's go -to. model of choice. The yeah. G Cougar 800, GK 800. I believe that's going- Ooh. Ah. That's going through an 810 as well. I'm gonna drive it a little bit. SVT. Um, now I want to push that treble back. It's going through A10 SVT, that's right. Woo. I'm bad at it. I just want to get the bass line. <laughs> okay, it's too trebly though, maybe. I'm going to turn the amp treble down. How are we doing down. on the time? 20 seconds. Maybe I and want in it. the comments as well, you're going to let us know whether you think that Ian passed or failed. Obviously, oh, we want you to be part of this as well. Oh, God. Just take us through exactly what you did one more time. Then we're going to play it. Then you're going to play it. Then you're going to comment. So take us through what you did one final time. Okay, I put a little bit of like an 1176 compressor on there. Uh, and then I put this GK amp model with a cab and it's just the stock, however it came up stock. It was low drive, it was low, low mids. Um, I ended up, I think what I did is I boosted drive a bit to get just a bit of, just a bit yeah. of crunch yeah. on it. Um, I boosted the bass and, made, and a touch of the low mids and I pushed back treble a little bit. That's what I did. Are you ready? I've got too much top on mine. Oh, 
A little bit too, but it's right there, it's isn't close? it? It's super close. What ah. do you guys let us know in the comments? Did pass or fail? Be kind. <laughs> be kind. Two no. minutes he had to do this thing. Don't be kind. Roast me. <laughs> let me have it. In addition to seeing me struggle through this challenge, you're going to see that it's not always about the bass or the effects pedals that you're using. It's about how you physically play the bass lines. It's about your technique. And if that's something that you could use work on, like we all could, SBL's Technique Accelerator is open for enrollment right now. It is the best online standalone course for improving your technique in the world, bar none. If you want to know more, go to masterbasetechnique.com. Are you ready for the next one? Completely different. What you'll find is I've got some like obvious ones in here. But I've also, because I don't want to just throw you all with cleanish bass tones, I wanted to throw you some curveballs. So, Jeez. are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. I'm ready. Oh, dude. Jamiroquai. Yeah, Deeper underground. Don't tell me it's not funky. It's so funky. Oh, I don't know if that's bass with synth, if it's just synth. I do happen to know that Paul Turner, when he plays that live, uses a doom. I don't have that, um, so I'm gonna try to find a fuzz character in it, but I'm gonna go at it a, an interesting way. I'm gonna try a couple things, because I hear an upper octave on it as well. I hear a fuzz. You can hear it again as well if you want to. I hear an upper octave. I don't know if that upper octave is a guitar or a synth. Like, if I were playing this in a band, yeah. This is maybe the thing that I would try to go for. I don't know how close I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna get as close as I can. Let's Do I get go. to switch bases switch first? Switch bases, dude, give me that. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Go in the IMA4. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. This has, I, I believe, just beautiful sounding pickups. Um, this neck pickup I'm gonna use, this has flats on it right now. A great trigger for sort of synth bass sounds and fuzz. What, you think flats is, are a better trigger than rounds? I mean, not for like a rock and roll, gritty, attacky thing. But just for synth. But for synth, I really yeah. like the sound of how flats get into like octave and fuzz. That's a little foreshadowing, dude. Mm. <laughs> I feel guilty, by the way, going into this, only giving you two minutes. I'm just putting out there that that's a stretch. I'm gonna go for it though. I'm gonna use two sounds that I know very... No, I can't talk about it. Go. I'm gonna use two sounds that I love very much. The first one is going to be just the classic bass octave. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll down the tone of that. I'm gonna roll the normal sound almost off to where I have almost only octave. Only octave. Yeah, it's kind of a hot signal too, so I'm gonna get about here, okay? I'm, st um, uh, ah, okay. What is this? Is it in E? C sharp. Yeah, okay, cool, C sharp, great. Uh, now I'm gonna move over to fuzz. I'm gonna find a fuzz. There's a fuzz on here that I love. It might not be the right character, but I'm just gonna go for it. I don't have a lot of time. So you got the octave, lower octave, yeah? Yeah. Running into a, running into a distortion. Yeah, and okay. see, what happens is when I'm using the octave pedal, it gives me sort of like a smooth sound into the fuzz. Almost sounds synthy, right? Ah, uh, yes. Ah. Uh, And yeah. then there's vibrato on it. Are you done? No. Oh, oh my God. Um, I want maybe slightly more gain. And then I want, let me hear, hold on. I mean, I like this. I don't know actually, oh sh I just turned up, I just messed up the settings. I'm gonna try to get it back. What time are we on? Okay. That's okay, I got it back. We're all right, we're all right. Um, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn up this here. Okay. Oh, you like that. Oh. <laughs> okay, what were you doing there right at the end? So okay. you, you've got the octave, you've got the drive. Yeah, you showed your hand a little bit. I turned up the 
high end of the you fuzz. The... <laughs> and you went, oh, you Ooh. liked that. And you have good ears. High end of the fuzz. Yeah. Okay. So that was uh, the, the fuzz tone, right? So yeah. there's fuzz tone off. Yeah. And I put it up to about here. That's interesting. Uh. That's lovely. It's fun, right? It's lovely. And check yeah. it out without the octave. Um, or you. Do... It's just not thick enough, is it? it? Yeah, it sounds kind of like an electric bass with fuzz on it. Yeah, yeah. But when yeah. you get the octave pedal in, it sounds more like. Have you got any amp modeling on there? I don't. No um, amp modeling. Have you got any compression on there? I don't. I think um, this bass is sort of even enough. I didn't feel like I wanted to spend the time on that. Yeah. It might actually be really cool. There might be like a mid-range character of amp grit on the original that I'm missing. Like if I had, if I heard it again, had another damn 30 seconds or something. <laughs> dream on, dreamer. <laughs> I might put it into an amp to kind of catch some of the mid-range, but definitely I feel like I caught the spirit of it. Do you want to? Have a listen. Do you guys want to have a listen? <laughs> Remember, pass or fail in those comments. Oh, God. <laughs> That's outrageous, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's there, doubled, isn't it? Yeah. It sounds like there's a guitar in there. There is like an upper something. octave. Yeah. And you know, this fuzz, actually, this is called Clawthorn. This fuzz has an octave up in it that I turned on, but you don't really... You hear it a little, like there's yeah, an upper octave yeah. to it. But to to really nail that, I sort of want to show. I mean, could could this just be like? Yes, it's like you extra can have an extension, or whatever, right? Yes. So okay. check this out. After the fuzz, what you can do to create that is put on a pitch shifter. Yeah. So I'm going to choose a pitch shifter that goes up um, an octave, and it's going to sound silly at first. Oh, and actually, maybe. Doesn't sound that silly. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. And you kind of mix it with the low. Yeah. Ah. That's kind of cool, right? Uh, maybe I'd turn the mix of it down just a touch. Should we hear it? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Killed it. Thank you, man. Told you, man. Ian Tone <laughs> Allison. The last thing I do, I won't do it now, but I would put a gate, I would put a hard gate post fuzz to shut down all the noise mm. in between. Because it's, no, it's going. Gah, 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 gah. <sighs> yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. cool in rock and roll. But such an amazing part of like synth music is when you're playing a synthesizer like that. That there's silence, no noise. It's yes. the silence in between. Dead. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I love that. And so I would do that, but didn't have the time. Are you ready for the next one? I am. This is such a. This is a complete <laughs> left turn. It is like North Pole, South Pole. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, dude. Dude, we're here to talk about freaking funk. <laughs> Oh, this sound is legendary. Yeah, so I better not mess it up. Dude, you know, I heard how he, really? what this is. We just hit the drum. What do they ask you, Scott? If I've got any hair. <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear? Uh, that it's a jazz bass. Like Larry was playing a late 60s jazz bass, I believe. You know, this yeah. is before he had the moon basses. And he. Same bass he probably did. Thank you for letting me. Yes. Thank you for letting me be myself again. Yes. That track. First slap bass track ever to be recorded. Yes. And I think he did this with black tapes. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So, I mean, we have... We've got black tapes, but it's on a P bass. It's on a P bass. Um, I have this, which is sort of like a jazz bass with these Thunderbird pickups with flats. It's not going to sound like that, though. But I'm thinking more about the character of the bass. It's mm. nothing like what people think jazz bass slap sounds like. Yes. It's nothing like it. And I feel like it's not so much about this. 
It's really? going to be about the instrument and strings. Yeah. So can I make that choice now? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> P bass black tapes. It's a ta it's a it was it's a terrible idea, but I'm sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a terrible idea. The conviction matters. Yeah, just... conviction matters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, put the time on the clock. Are we ready? Yeah, ready, steady, go. Here's the deal. First, it's so compressed. I'm gonna find a different compressor, um, and it's gonna be called Tube Comp, and I'm gonna. Oh, geez, already. Ugh, ugh. Wait. Woo! I want it to be squeezy, right? It needs yeah. to be compressy. Um, and right, it's like the strings. Yeah. Uh, and then. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dial up an EQ. Yeah, let me know if you want to hear it again for the EQ. Play it again. Like that. Here, here it is for the EQ. It's like in an amp or something too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to get an amp. I'm gonna try to get an amp and cab. Ooh. I'm gonna cycle through them. Okay. It's too much drive. And it's too much uh -uh. high mid. Uh -huh. Yes. Listen to you. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Can we be able to uh -uh. communicate uh -uh. through that? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Maybe. Uh -uh. <laughs> two seals. It's also like too much. <laughs> uh -uh. Bass seals. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. Is it? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Dodgy output jack. <laughs> Dodgy output jack. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm gonna maybe clean it up a tiny bit. You ready? Yeah. Here's the original. Oh. You know what? Can you go bim bim bim? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the meat's right, yeah. There's maybe something else in there. Yeah, it's like almost some modulation yeah. or something. There's something I know. in there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. you tricky engineers. <laughs> What's going on in there? I say pass. Hey. And I say pass. What do you say? What say you? <laughs> I appreciate you. I think if I had it to do, like to really get it, you do a jazz bass with black tapes. Um, Can we hear it with your jazz bass? Sure, sure, With sure. the flat. And you've got for the amp, you've got a B15 modeler on here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Dialed up the, the B15, yeah. which I think sounds really nice in this uh, HX stomp, it's really cool. He so maybe much. used it, he maybe used a B15, maybe. or maybe went direct, or maybe one of those Big ass, whatever they used to have, you know, the massive whems or something. What did you guys? Or acoustic. 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 360. Yeah. You yeah. never know. It's too like modern sounding. It's clean, isn't it? I don't know, man. That could be. Is that both pickups on? That's yeah. Both I think on. that that might be closer. You think so? This is deader. It's deader. But it's got the mid, a little bit of mid scoop on there, which yeah, is nice. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like yeah. if this had tapes, I think it would be even closer. Yeah. Do you know what this is reminding me of? What? I'm just imagining everybody watching it and like, we, well, I'm not. I'm just sort of like, I'm, 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 I'm just watching. But you're like a gladiator in a ring. <laughs> yeah. And have you seen it in Gladiator? They're like, huh? Uh, oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. And you get fed to the tigers or something <laughs> yeah. like that. But I think, I think it was a thumbs up. Oh my God, I get to live to fight another day? Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Well, another tune. Do you yeah. want another tune? Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Anthony Jackson of on bass. Of course. The OJs. Oh. Money, money, money. 
Oops. Now, if you listen to this, I'm talking to you guys. Um, there's actually two bass tones here. There's the wet and the dry. I know. So it starts with wet and then it goes dry. Check it out. Wet. What we're going to try and recreate? Both. On this bass? I think so. I believe Anthony played that jazz bass, his, the career girl. Career girl, jazz bass, P with neck. a P bass neck. But this doesn't sound like bright round. It doesn't, does it? Rounds to me. It sounds like plucky, like flats. Yeah. These are brightish flats. I'm going to go for it on this. I don't know that this has the correct mid-range, but I'm going to go for it. But really what I'm gonna focus on is I'm gonna try to get the effect sounds. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Do you need to wipe this? I do. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. We're gonna compress because we always have to, okay? So we're gonna pull up an 1176 style compressor. Now I hear a lot of phaser on his sound and it's on all the time. Even when the, even when. Even when it's dry. It's dry. And let's see. <laughs> Damn. So <laughs> he's good, and, and that's just the that's just the stock script phaser. So any amp modeling? There's no amp modeling at the moment. I I might want it a little brighter, but I'm not. Pick both pickups on. Both pickups on. I might try. Ah, the, the the neck pickup sounds okay. I'm gonna just brighten up the whole thing with an EQ, yeah. actually. So I'm gonna take a simple EQ block and I'm going to brighten the top quite a bit, actually, because there is a lot of top. There you go. Okay, so that's five dB yes. of boost at the top. Now, I wonder if I can do this. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grab like a big plate reverb. Um, no, come on, Allison. Come on, Allison. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's get that big plate. I want more. I want it to be intense. I don't want that amount of decay. Like I don't want it to last as long, but yeah, I want more yeah, mix. Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay? So then I'm gonna also get rid of this. So, too much. Too much, isn't it, yeah. <laughs> too yeah. much. Right, but now what I'm gonna do, how am I doing on time? 10, No. Nine, eight, seven. Just do it, just six, do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'll do it for you. Check it out. Now I put, I put it on a switch for you at the end of my time. I I'm right here. The tone, dude. I'm right here. I put it on a switch for you so that you can be my effects switcher in real time. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. That's where you're supposed to go. I'm doing it now. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Mid range is different. Mid range? I know. God man. damn you, mid range. <laughs> oh, the mid range God is different, you. right? And it almost is like, it almost feels maybe like it's neck pickup with oh. top boost. Hey, huh? Mm. Is that better? Here we go. And again, neck pickup. It's as close as damn it, dude. It's good enough for jazz. <laughs> or funk today. And while you're wiping that Mr. Tone Allison, <laughs> get ready for this next one because it's a little synthy. Back oh. into back, back into the realm of synth. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. It's good. And originally, it was a mix. Originally, bit of synth, bit of bass. Maybe Paul Jackson. Maybe. Paul Jackson. Maybe oh, some no. maybe some headhunters. Oh no. Maybe some chameleon. Oh, this is really hard to do with pedals. It is, it's hard. and if I was a kind man, I would say just do the bass, but I think that you need to do the entire thing. Synth, we uh, needed to do I'm, the riff. I'm gonna, try to do, I'm gonna try to get close to the riff. Dude. Oh. I hate you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I gotta say, 
I did this song for you yeah. in my first ever I'm, SBL video. No way. This yes. was the first. But it was not with all, it was different pedals. And yeah. This is really hard target to hit. Yeah. But do you think you can do it? I'm gonna try. Wait a minute, do you, are you gonna do it on that bass? I'm assuming yes because of what you said earlier. I am just Flats, gonna do it on this yeah, bass yeah. because on this track, the bass doesn't matter really much at all. Like, yeah. I, I like flats because they're a nice um, reference point or they're a nice trigger for yeah. sounds, especially the way I'm gonna build this. I could build it with, like I could try to find sort of a recreation um, a sort of a digital synth recreation, but I'm gonna build the building blocks of a synth sound, how I would do it from scratch. Yeah. And try to do it in two minutes. Hey, Ready? I'm going in. Steady? Yep. Go. Okay, so we're gonna start with octave. Here's the deal. Octave pedal first. When you're building a synth sound, I think it's four components. Starts with octave pedal. Okay, so I'm gonna do mostly the octave sound. So I'm gonna get rid of a lot of my normal, still keep a touch in so there. So low, low octave, just like yeah. you with deeper underground. Okay, that's the top of this. Okay. okay, I'm gonna try that at first. Then I'm going to hit it with a bit of gain because there's a sort of crunchy distortion in there. Okay, so I'm gonna get a bit of gain from yeah. an overdrive that I'm actually going to put. I'm actually gonna put it though so that I have clean as well as the overdrive. Okay. There it is. Now, I'm not, I'm not done, Don't, I, I hear you, I, I feel your judgment. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed that into a filter. This is what's gonna be tricky. I'm gonna try to find, where is it? Yes. I'm gonna try to find a filter. I'm gonna turn it into low pass mode. I'm going to do the direction down, because I want it to go out. Okay, hold on, this, now this is gonna, And then it's just about getting the right settings for this. Oh, this is hard. Keep on going. How long we got? Oh, I'm not going to get there. We might need an extension. Oh. We might need an extension. Keep going. <laughs> oh. It was the wrong filter to choose, I think. Keep going. Keep okay, going. All right, all right. Let me, try, Keep let me going. try a different filter. Let me try a different filter. Your batting average oh. is really good at this point. Oh, uh, this is really a tough one to do. Let's try a let's try a Mutron. Ah. Yeah. Do you want to hear it again? Hold on one sec. Why? Gosh. I am struggling with this one. Struggling to get the ow, 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 ow. ow, ow, ow. Yeah, yeah, I really am. Uh, boy, I might I might just fail the hell out of this thing. I don't gonna, know, man. Gonna, yeah. I could try one other filter. Try another filter. Should I try another try one? Try another one. Okay, let's see. Let's try. Let's try. Hard to get the... It's the speed of it, isn't it? Now that's similar to the speed of it, right? Oh. Hey! <laughs> oh. I mean, that's getting closer, right? Yeah. I mean, I tell you what, 
that's the closest I'm probably gonna get. I could still tweak, but it's about finding the right like length of the filter drop. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. And it's a downward filter. So yeah. many wah filters are up. They're yeah. like wah. 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 Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wah. Yeah. Oh, oh. This one, right? We've got three things. We can do that. Oh, oh wah. Oh. Ow. <laughs> this one was really hard for me, man. Come on, let's hear it. It's close. Do you know what's interesting about this? There's a percussive element about yeah. it, isn't there? Oh. And it's interesting, I wonder what it would be like too if you removed the octave from the equation and just tried it. Uh, it yeah. still sounds sort of like an electric bass yeah. playing it with a filter. And there's like so much space in between the notes because it's on the keys. It's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Oh. Nasty. Good effort, dude. Oh, Good effort. Thank you. Oh, okay. that was tough. Okay, are you ready? Again, completely different. Yeah. Completely. Oh. You made me feel so good inside. Yeah. Dude, this is another one like the last one. It's about the drop. We're gonna go for it, though. We're gonna do it. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. <laughs> You're the worst. We can do this. I mean, you can do this <laughs> with me here. <laughs> There's moral support. What a track. Oh, yeah, so good. yeah, wipe it. Yeah, I'm wiping it out. Here we go. Okay, this is similar to the last one. It is. Um, but but it's it's a little more subtle. It's not quite as ow, 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 right? Yeah. But it's, I'm gonna go for a similar sort of filter drop thing. There's one other element I'm gonna add that I think will bring it closer. Okay. We'll see how it goes. As you're doing that, I'm gonna see if there's an isolated bass on here. Oh, no. Just to you're see. the worst. Ready, steady, go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put that octave on it, right? I'm gonna do that. I am going to then do a drive again. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna put on a drive. I gotta get it in the right path faster than I did last time. Jeez Louise. Okay. You got it. Uh, and then, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's so cool. That's oh. hard. That's hard. Now. Ah, uh, it's there. Okay, B. Now, obviously, that's not the sound, right? We need a filter. But what I'm doing, I'm going to show you in just a sec here. Let's go down. Let's find this filter. So... I'm going to mellow it out a little. Okay, come on. Mix 100. Hold on. Holding steady. <laughs> okay. Now I just have to get it to close correctly. Extension already ah. given. <laughs> wow. Uh, I know. Keep I'm, going. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to increase the gain. 
So I'm hearing like the distortion open the filter. Right, okay. Right? But I feel like it's sort of, the dry is coming through some way and somehow it shouldn't be. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah. so clean, isn't it? You know? Oh, it's so hard to control and the note. It, it, there's nothing in between yeah. again, because it's just keys on yeah. the keyboard, isn't it? Maybe just those three notes. Getting that right. Oh. <laughs> it's so like, go, go. And you can't, you ain't got no, I know, I know, I know. I wonder if I can get it to close faster. You know? Oh. Almost like you have to close each note with your other finger. Oh, right? got like, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then finding where to play it on the bass. Oh. Oh, I mean, with Not this, it's, it's probably sort of the, it's not like the best I can do. I could maybe try a different style of gain or fuzz or something in front. But here, check it out. Another big component of this is the chorus. If I get rid of the chorus... Like it doesn't feel, something about his synth sound is there's two oscillators that yeah. are slightly out of tune. Yeah. So there's something about putting a chorus on. That, that makes gives it sound you an more element synthy. of that. Yeah. 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 I think, I think <laughs> you got as freaking near down as you could on a bass. <laughs> Let's uh, see if it just one more time in the track. Let's see it one more time in the track. Nailed it, man. Nailed it. Nailed uh, it. Dude, is this what I think it is? No. Oh, all right, play it. Oh, Lewis Johnson, baby. Yeah, man. Look at him. Let him go. And I'm expecting that. <laughs> oh. So the slap thing that Lewis Johnson does? That, to yeah, so well. <laughs> Thunder thumbs himself? Thundertone, Allison. <laughs> oh my God, okay. What bass are you gonna use? That's stingray. Stingray. Right, it has to be a stingray. Yeah. Now he's not using a stingray in this. He might have recorded the original with a stingray, I'm not sure, because he did, when he was playing with Michael Jackson, he was playing a stingray, That's right. right. He is now. We're spreading vicious lies on the internet. Uh, but but I think he a, was. This is an Ernie Ball. I mean, in the video, whatever. It's an Ernie Ball. I think Saber. Is it Saber? Not, not Ernie Ball. It's Music Man. Music Man Saber. Three Ernie Ball. Probably a Saber. It's those two pickups. Um, and we have a Stingray. And the the Stingray is like a Saber without the... It's just missing one of the pickups, right? Yes. Like... You know, you got half of it. Yeah, what, whatever. What, what, what do you whatever. want? No problem. Fine. <laughs> Ooh, half. Yeah, what, what do you want? One hand tied behind my back. But dude. if if people are wanting that tone, because this is like a classic funk yeah. tone. It's like Lewis Johnson, man. He's yeah. like one of the godfathers of the style. So if people have been listening to players like Lewis Johnson, how are they dialing in that tone? What um, should people be doing to get that tone? Okay. We're going to put it on the clock? Go. Okay, here's the deal. Turn up your Stingray. If you have these EQ knobs, it ain't this, right? So take those two EQ knobs, bass and treble, crank them, yeah. right, okay? Both all the way up. I don't know the bass line. Yeah, both all the way up. I mean, you can season to taste, but really, but what I'm hearing on his sound is, I'm hearing a bunch of compression. It's so squashed in the track. So what I'm gonna do is grab a compressor that is not parallel blended at all, meaning that you're not choosing clean and compressor together, which is actually like how I like to run them. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna choose this tube comp. I'm gonna turn it down. And then I'm gonna really get a threshold that squashes the bass. It's too squashy. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. And now I feel like it's sort of bringing the high end out in an, a slightly unpleasant way. So I'm gonna back off the high end. Not that much though. Mm. 
I'm gonna turn it back up just a touch. Now check it out, if I get rid of the compressor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not there, is it? Yeah, it sort of like takes everything and makes you able to hear it on a laptop. So I think yeah. what I'm actually trying to do is nail these sounds from, from a, a laptop. laptop. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We got yeah, like yeah, five yeah, seconds yeah. left. Um, okay, look, you've got great ear memory. Like I was just watching you do that. I would, if I was doing this at home, I'd be like messing around and then I'd listen and then I'd... Oh, yeah. do, do, do. Well, you seem to be able to like absorb it and then... I, I don't think I got really close to his sound. There's something about the strings. Maybe he's running through an amp. I'm probably too like sight motivated. I see a music man and I'm like, oh, it's that, you know? But I'm hearing how contained it is. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I'm hearing the compressor sound. But it's like meat is which obviously the compressor like adds the element into it, doesn't it? So yeah. like just and you can then, the cool thing about a comp that is no dry signal through, that is like this, that really squeezy, is you can play as hard as you want. And it keeps all that stuff at bay. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's controlled, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it was cool. called Thumb, Thunder Thumbs for a reason. I know. Are you ready to check out yes. the tone? Scoop out a little bit mid. Let's see it again. So compressed, isn't it? So compressed. And you have really good ears for EQ. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to get rid of some sort of like upper mid range. Is that upper mid, yeah. Yeah, like I'm gonna try to get rid of kind of like 1K. Um, uh, it's not the bass line. I think it's getting there though, isn't it? Yeah. The mid's there, I think. Yeah. yeah. And that's quite a reduction in mid-range. Is it what we're taking that's it down like to? That's minus eight. What? But if I put wow. it back. But if I get rid of We've it. said it before. <laughs> <laughs> comes back, right? Now here's yeah. the big dip again. But check it out, like a different scoop slap tone to what you might associate with Marcus Miller. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yes. Stingray. Like, yep. is, he, is he scooping out in a different place to Marcus? Like, I haven't gone down that rabbit hole, so. I don't know. I think Marcus, the key to Marcus's scoop is the sort of two jazz bass pickups on together, kind of doing it. Because they're scoopy any, anyway. Yeah. 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 And then you're sort of, you know, with that Sadowski preamp or, the, or whatever he had in his bass, boosting the real bottom, like 40 hertz, really low yeah. and really high. So it creates a sort of broad low and top bump. I mean, I guess that's sort of what's happening here, but you've got this bridge pickup. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That is, that's back and it gives it an aggression. Yeah. And maybe that scoop that we're hearing there, maybe it's because it was a saber and not a stingray. Interesting. And the two pickups together are creating that yeah. natural scoop in the sound. Yeah. Oh, I'll say it again. I would bathe in this stuff all day. It's fun. Are you ready to bathe in more yeah, bass tones? Yeah, but I think I failed that one. I don't know, man. Ooh. I don't know. In the comments, let us know. But this one, what we're going to jump into now, curveball. Jesus killed the blind oh. man. So that he could see the evils of the world. This is one of the funkiest. One of the funkiest bass lines ever. Overcome by the light. Oh. Maybe Judas was the do, 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 do. Yeah. And Mary made a virgin just a safe face. So and this wash that comes up, I think it's another sound round. Uh. <laughs> a wash. Oh. Oh. I think this is, uh, again, about the right bass and string choice. Yeah. It's yeah. not about effects. Yeah. And it's about articulation. It's about getting it right in your hands. Yeah. Um, can I clear this out? Clear it out. Okay. I'll grab that thing. Okay, thank you. Oh, there we go. Flats, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because we don't Jazz have... Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this one first, but we also have a 70s, we have a 70s jazz with flats. That might be the...
key. So I'm playing on this, I'm playing on that, and then I'll make a decision. Have we got a, is it got flats on it? No, no, no I'm sorry. Rounds. I'm sorry. Rounds. My bad. Rounds. This has flats. The 70s jazz has rounds, but it might have the character that we need, mm. you know? I need to figure out where she plays this and all that. But I'm going to try to do it all in two minutes. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so I'm going to compress, right? Uh, I'm going to get this compressor going again. Um, come on, Ian. Like... It's about the length of the note, right? I maybe try the bridge pickup. Just a little bit to the bridge. I like this, but I'm going to try the jazz bass with rounds and see. I mean, Michelle was like the one that introduced me to a jazz bass with flats. It's so cool. Okay. Ah. More grease on this one, right? Yeah. Definitely more grease on that one, yeah. I don't like how bright it is. I wish I could kind of have a in-between yeah. of that tone? last one. Tone? Oh, you feel like <laughs> you're leading me. <laughs> right, right, right. But it might not. Maybe it might just go, oh, I don't know. You think so? I'm going to split the diff. Feel like this has got the carrot. If yes. we could get them flat wounds and know, put them in here. on this base, it might be the right thing. That right? could be it. Do yeah. we? Are we doing anything here? Just compression. Just compression. That's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Five, four, three, two, one, oh. go. Oh. So that he can see the evils of the world. Perchance blind, but dark thought overcome by the light. Maybe Judas was the better man And Mary made a virgin just a safe face I too am so ashamed on my bent knees Praying to my pretty white jeans when I'm Dude, playing, you're getting it on me. It sounds great. When I'm playing along with it, I don't want to play it very hard. Yeah. Like, what she's not doing is this. Yeah, it's she's not, not doing that. that. Yeah. It's really light, actually. Yeah. But, like, so in the pocket. Yes. Yeah. So in the pocket. Yeah. Remember, guys, let us know in the comments. Did he pass? Did he fail? Okay, another bit of wild card. Oh, you bastard. There's like two or three bass parts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, it's tough. I mean, do you want to hear... You want to hear that wow. filtery thing. Dude, I just want to hear you try and recreate that. What? 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 Because you can play it on a four. I've seen you play it before on a four string. Yeah. So how, but how do you do it in two minutes? How do you, do, how do you get the sound <laughs> and do that in two minutes? Yeah. Let me get, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this purple bass with flats again. Um, the purple pepper. Yeah. Thundercat plays flats. Uh... Does he play flat? Yeah, he does. Wow. Yeah, there we go. on that there big we go. Ibanez it bass. Yeah. Um, Heavier than the sun. That yeah, thing that looks. thing is heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, and that groove is heavy too, the dude. The groove is heavy. Um, I'm going to show you what I think is really like the key to his sound. Uh, in a sec, I'm going to see if I can try to dial it up in two minutes. And again, we've got nothing here. It's blank. The patch is good. Look, Allison. Three, two, one. Oh God. Okay, so look, here's the deal. Thundercat's whole thing is a combo of heavy octave up, which he gets from using a, what? a whammy oh, pedal. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a simple pitch, but and it's gonna be bad. Like when you hear it clean, 50-50 mix. Uh that does not sound like Thundercat. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that does not sound like Thundercat. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put that into a filter and it starts to sound like Thundercat. So check this out. I'm gonna get this filter going. Okay. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. Oh. What was that you just did there? Okay, so that's changing the mode of what frequency the filter affects. Got it. That affects just, that is actually rolling off low end. Yeah. That's doing a thing called band pass that I don't understand. And this is letting all the low end. Through. Okay. Ah, right, so automatically, man, like. Uh, it's got yeah, that yeah. vibe to it, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I, I am going to have to work. So I'm gonna set the sensitivity to where I have to, I have to play kind of hard to get it to open. Okay, so if you play soft, it's gonna be home. If you hit, hit, hit it hard, it's gonna wah, wah. Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, I wanted brighter. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to, but do, do, I think, do what you need. Do okay. You need. Well, it's just like it's getting then the filter set, right? And it's getting it set to your hands. So for playing that groove. Yeah. I had no idea actually until hanging out with you and you were trying to make this sound what? with your pog and oh. your discombobulator. Yeah. It's yeah. like if you're just trying to make this sound without the octave up, it's not even close. You need that top You end need the need, octave yeah. up because it gives the filter the high harmonic content to worry about. And I love when Thundercat's playing subtly too, like. And then pop stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Do you want to play along? Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. And then you can hear that high guitar on top there. Well, high bass actually. Love it. The prices on like Pigtronics envelope phasers have gone through the roof. Is that what people think it's uses. about? Yeah, and you know, Moog low pass filter, the MF 101, those are crazy expensive, but it's not about that. It's actually about octave up into filter. And you can put yeah. almost any octave up. So this is not the Digitech whammy pedal. This is not the POG. This is simple pitch in the HX stomp, ostensibly like a bad, you know, like a, like not the real thing, right? Into the filter, which isn't the real thing. I guess I'm, what am I using? Auto filter. <laughs> And I really feel like it gets the spirit yeah. of his life. It does. It does. It nails it. I think it nails it. It nails it. But... Well, I'll tell you who will tell us who it does. <laughs> you guys! <laughs> Are you ready for the last one? Yeah. Hey! Oh. Parliament flashlight. I'm just clearing the deck. Just clearing the deck, baby. It's a great track, isn't it? Zuba doop, zuba doop. Oh, fuzzy. I have made this sound for things before, um, but spent a lot more time than two minutes. I know how I'm gonna do it. I'll tell you as we roll. I'm pumped to make this sound. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Three, yeah. <laughs> two, one, go. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna compress. I feel like I've got a little bit of time. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. Ooh. 
Not that way though, Allison. <laughs> Come on, here we go. I'm gonna compress a little bit. Now I'm gonna put an octave on, right? Because what do we gotta do? We gotta give that low octave for it to play with. I'm gonna have a little bit of normal signal, not too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a big fuzz because this is Bernie Worrell on Mini Moog. He's playing a giant fuzz. My favorite fuzz is, in this guy, is at the very end of the list. Thank you very much. It's called the Clawthorn. I'm gonna put that octave up on it. I'm gonna see about, how are we doing? Whoa, that's really too bright. I'm gonna roll out the tone. I'm gonna get the gain of the fuzz down as well. Okay, might even bring the level of the fuzz down. So for people that don't know, what Ian's doing is, when he says like his dial is like taking the top end off, he can take the top end off his sound, but he can also take the top end off the fuzz. Yes. And that's what you're doing. So that's two right. separate things. You got your bass tone, but then you've got the top end of the fuzz and you'll see on a lot of distortion and fuzz pedals, it has a tone knob on it. So that's what that does. Yes, good, good call, dude. Well, I'm here for you, dude. Amazing, okay. Okay, so now check it out. If I got rid of the octave, doesn't sound like that a synth. Vibe. And check it out, if I got rid of the fuzz, not at all, right? Yeah, it's octave fuzz together. combo. And then check it out. What I think takes it into synth territory, is putting on a chorus. <laughs> <laughs> is it the chorus? Oh, it, of course it is. Yeah, Love yeah it. I Love think it. it's still maybe a little too fuzzy. Also, it's maybe a little bit much on the chorus. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I got greedy. Gab, you're gonna haunt me in his dreams. Ten, nine, eight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're gonna wake up, and wake up in the night like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. I mean, there's this great story too about like Bernie Worrell like chaining mini Moogs together and like, oh, really? like this was apparently like several different Moog keyboards that oscillators going in. And I don't know how close this is. But I love this sound. Tell you what, dude, it's close for two minutes. <laughs> it I, is close yeah. All right. for 120 seconds. I mean, you know, like you know how the short combo. A second is? <laughs> you know how short a second is? It's really short. <laughs> I mean, it's really fun. There's just four blocks here, right? Compression to keep things even, the octave that's giving you the note for the fuzz to work with. Fuzz saturates the octave. Then you put the chorus on the end, which does the oscillator. All that means, usually in a synth, there's two notes that go together. You can detune them slightly, yeah. right? And then they make that kind of warble that makes it sound like a Moog or a synth. So. Should we hear the original again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. check it out. <laughs> Nailed it, man. Nailed it. Hey, thank you so much for watching today. We have had an absolute blast doing this. Thank you, mate, oh again. Just like throwing yourself <laughs> into this. Yeah, absolutely. And hey, if you've got any ideas as well for content like this, like styles you want us to cover or things that we're not thinking about, please let us know in the comments. We will read every single one of them and we'll make sure that we're creating the content that you want. With that said, take it easy. We'll see you next time.